Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, those that those that are subscribed will know I haven't really posted uh, a whole lot recently, but um, working on getting that consistency back and plenty of content uh, planned really for the future and to get some um, interesting videos we've got planned coming up. But uh, just a bit of a, a recap really is, um, and I think it's kind of normal for all, all TT races after after the TT is over, you kind of go in a bit of a, a lull, you know, it, uh, TT blues, a bit of a, almost a depression really of, uh, you know, you've had two weeks of like mental racing high speed and it doesn't stop when you're off the bike. It's just very intense. So you kind of come home and, um, drop off the wagon a little bit. And, uh, so, so yeah, it's tricky, but uh, anyway, so a bit of a, a recap, really update on where we're at, what's happening, what's coming up, what's happened. So, um, as I say, a couple of weeks off after TT, and then um, yesterday I finished racing at uh, Snetterton, British Superbike in the Superstock class, um, and uh, <clears throat> genuinely a, a really good, enjoyable weekend. I like, um, uh, it was uh, the the superbike guy struggled a little bit but finished uh finished well with ryan finishing fourth in the in the final race so um you know that's that's bike racing there's good weekends and bad weekends and uh and and tough weekends so um it was one of those but uh genuinely i i had a really good time on my on on my super stop bike and then enjoyed um every, every session really you know the, there was Saturday was a bit sitting around. We had like one 15 minute qualifying session in the whole day. So um, that was a little frustrating, but um, it was nice to race there. But I did some rounds previous to TT and um, I'm always a bit anxious of like having a silly accident or, or getting taken out and hurt myself and then potentially missing TT, which is my, my biggest race of the year. So this weekend was, was the first time where I didn't have to worry about you know, not that I go out in town to get hurt, but there's always that on the back of your mind. So um, I didn't have to worry about anything after this round uh, in terms of like keeping fit for. So um, yeah, it was good. And we went there with the intention and goal is was to uh, score some points or a point. And, um, and we did that. I qualified 18th. Someone got uh, moved to the back of the grid. So we started 17th and finished 50 so um i can't remember the last time i got a point in the british championship so it um it's, it was great you know it was good for the team and my 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 crew dale and, and alan and you know that's sort of what we work for it's almost like we'd won the race so um, <laughs> It was great to, uh, uh, good, you know, it's something to work on now. So I'm genuinely looking forward to Brands Hatch uh, next weekend. So we've got a weekend off and then uh, Brands Hatch GP, which is a great track. And um, hopefully try and build on that now. That's the problem now. I've, now I've finished there. I don't want to finish any less down from that. So um yeah something to work on but uh came away with a you know i literally got off the bike after there was a big smile and and um enjoyed it which uh which is important and and and, and why why i do it you know why why everyone races bikes really is to to ultimately and initially is to to enjoy it and then you get caught in the the racing and you want to win or always better yourself <laughs> So, um, but we, we set out, we achieved what we set out to do and um, was uh, <clears throat> was great really. Not, no major change of the bike, but we keep learning every time I ride, I, I, I learn something new with that bike in terms of, not necessarily changes to the bike, but more with my technique and how I ride it. You know, it's um, some riders obviously, obviously can do it a lot better than others, but I kind of struggle to transition back from a road style to a short circuit style and, um, yeah a few things kind of made sense yesterday to me what during the race and 
I did my fastest lap of the whole weekend on the second to last lap of the race. So um, it, it, it was uh, it was good. I felt I wanted the race to be a bit longer, really, just because I felt we were making progress. But um, anyway, we'll try again at, at Brands Hatch. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And in other news, it, um, as I said, a few things are planned content wise coming up. Um, and we're in July at the moment. So the Dakar is a, is quite a big question at the moment. And, uh, I think I'm going to do a whole, a whole video on that, on, um, whether I, whether I'm going to go back a little bit of a recap on Dakar this year. And then, um, and then I'm undecided at the moment and I'll go into the reasons of that in another video um, on whether to uh, to go back again in January and um, the reason I'm talking about now is because the end of July is the cutoff um, for rider registration so if I'm going to go I have to get the the initial entry in by the end of the month which means I have to decide by the end of the month whether I'm going to put myself through that again and um, this is it, Dakar start, prologue day. <laughs> I've waited a long time for this and it, now it's happening. It's crazy at the minute, like one morning I wake up and feeling, right, yeah, I'm going to go. And then the next morning I wake up and think, no, why, why, why put yourself through that again? So. Yeah. I'm going to go into that um go into that a bit more in depth i think and then also there's some content planned with uh my like day-to-day -day stuff with um what i do when i'm not racing where i work at uh crescent yamaha and and what we what we do there what i do there my involvement um uh also 44 teeth did a good video recently which i will get the link in below uh to that of um their project R1, which they brought over to Crescent, and we kind of discussed some quite interesting bits and pieces with with um, development of that bike and, and and upgrades and so on. So if you're if you're riding R1 on track or on the road and interested to hear that side of things, then um, then have a look at that one below. Um, right, well, thank you for watching. I'm going to carry on with my journey, and um, I've just pulled over in some smelly old truck stop, which. Um, I haven't actually got out I'm not gonna get out but it um, very there's a lot of rubbish and urine stench of urine so <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this area and progress and I will um, be back soon with another video and um, keep an eye out for that make sure you subscribed and let me know in the comments any ideas or particular interests you'd like me to cover in uh, in future videos and I will see you soon Yeah. <laughs>